Just standing here, surrounded by strawberries, it smells incredible. The flavour and sweetness is lovely. I'm Emily and I'm a chef tutor here at the Waitrose and Partners Cookery School. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this brilliant vanilla baked cheesecake. But we're really going to be showcasing these lovely British strawberries. They're just coming into season, really sweet and juicy. They pair fantastically with this tangy cheesecake. We've got some really lovely oat biscuits and we've got some flaked roasted almonds as well. We're gonna be bashing these together to make our base. In my little pan over here, first off, I've got some butter. Um, we need to melt this, that's gonna to help to bind the base um, before we bake it in the oven. Just get yourself a sandwich bag, just pop these biscuits in, and in with our almonds as well. For the full recipe, click on the link in the description. Then all you need is a rolling pin, and we're just gonna give this a good old bash until it's sort of like a breadcrumb texture. So I'm just going to pop these in my bowl and then we can mix them together with our melted butter. Pour it straight into the base mixture and then we'll just give it a good old mix around. Pour it straight into our lined tin. You want to make sure you've got a nice even base. With a spoon you can see it can be quite awkward, especially when you're trying to press down right in the centre. If you just grab yourself a tumbler and if you just use the base and just press that down and give that base a good squash down so it's really nice and even. I'm going to pop this in the oven at 180 and it should take about five minutes. So my base has had its five minutes so it's just going to sit there and cool while we crack on with the filling. In my stand mixer I've got my soft cheese and to that we're going to go in with our sugar. And we've got our flour. You don't have to have flour in your recipe. Um, you could use corn flour instead. Next up, we're gonna go in with our vanilla bean paste, about a teaspoon. We're gonna give it its first sort of mix and combine together. Now it's important to do this slowly and gently. We don't wanna incorporate too much air into our cheesecake. We really need to sort of be slow and steady when we're doing this. So next, we're gonna be going in with our sour cream. Obviously, it's a really sort of indulgent cheesecake, but having this sort of sour element, along with those really lovely sweet strawberries, is really, really lovely together. Give it another whisk. So now we're gonna add our eggs. So I've got two egg yolks, and then we've got four whole eggs. I'm gonna add the eggs in, sort of in stages, one by one, on that gentle speed again. And I'll just crack each egg in. And you want to sort of make sure that each egg is quite evenly incorporated in there before you go in with the next one. So they're all nicely mixed together and then you can just go in with those two extra egg yolks. So one yolk at a time. And then lastly, we've got our lemon juice and just a pinch of salt in there as well. And at that point, once you've had everything in there, we're going to turn this off. Okay, we don't want to over whisk it. So it's looking really, really good. Nice, really thick, velvety mix. And then just going to gently pour in all the mix. Flatten it out a touch. So the oven, we've turned it down to 140. So I've just got a roasting tray in the very bottom of the oven, about three quarters full of water and then the cheesecake we can just pop on the shelf just above. The cheesecake has baked for one hour and 20 minutes. At that point, give it a check and you wanna make sure it's got a nice wobble in the center so it's not completely solid. At that point, we're gonna turn the oven off and it's left in there for about 45 minutes to cool down very, very gently, but also sort of continue to cook in the residual heat left in the oven. So I'm gonna leave the cheesecake at room temperature to cool down for about an hour. And then we want to chill it in the fridge for at least four hours. So while that's happening, we can get our strawberry compote on the go. So I've already got most of my strawberries in my pan just here. I've got a few more. So all I'm gonna do is just halve them straight in there. And then we've got our sugar, just for an extra sort of boost of sweetness. Uh, water as well. We want to cook these down to the, they soften slightly and we have a syrup forming, but we don't want them to completely sort of lose their shape and form and be mushy. And then just leave them to simmer uh, for a few minutes. 
You can use any other fruit, you can use any other berries. Blueberries would work really well. Any sort of summer berries like that would be absolutely delicious. My strawberries, as you can see, have softened really nicely. So at this point, what we're gonna do is take the strawberries out, pop them in a separate bowl. Now these need to cool completely before we can top our cheesecake with them. But with the syrup, we're gonna to continue to reduce this slightly. We want this to be really nice and thick to finish on top of the cheesecake. Our cheesecake is nice and chilled. So we're just gonna go on top with our strawberries and then just an extra little bit of syrup. You got the tangy flavor of the cheesecake and the sweetness of these delicious strawberries. This is a really, really delicious recipe. So, so tasty.